Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <laughs> cats and dogs, welcome to another episode of 94 Feet Podcast. This is your boy, Big Zeke. I'm in the building with my brother, Skeezy. What's good, good people? I'm also in the, bro- in the building with my brother, Dre. Yo, what's up, y'all? How you doing? What's going on? How y'all been doing? Man, life is good. No complaints, my brother. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Uh, we're recording this on a Sunday. So I first want to give a real shout out to the heroes out there, uh, the ladies, the mothers who have birthed us, who raised us, and who have done, hmm, I would say, somewhat of a tremendous job. You know, it depends on the situation, but yeah. Um, let's start the week off by talking about... Um, well, real quick, shout out to the moms. Can can we say that too? If hey, y'all want to shout your moms out, go ahead. Shout out to I, the I, mothers. I'm stopping Happy y'all Mother's Day. Your moms out. Happy Mother's Day to my own mother and... Godmothers and all the other mothers out there from 94 feet. Same here. Shout out to all the mothers, godmothers, Shout all out. the aunts that's mothers. Shout out. Shout out. And your, your daughter just had a birthday, right? Happy birthday to your daughter, too, man. Yep, yep. It just turned three. Just turned three. Happy mm-hmm. birthday. All right. All right. It's good. So um, I want to start the week off by talking about the game of the week. Let's uh, do the it. Washington Wizards versus the Indiana Pacers. It was a nail biter. Um, Washington pulled it off 133 to 122. I mean, I'm sorry, 133 to 132 mm-hmm. in overtime. A mm-hmm. uh, couple of highlights from this game. Uh, Russell Westbrook tied Oscar Robinson record for the most triple doubles in it for a career. Forever. I'm sorry. F ever. And then also uh, Bradley Beal scored 50 points. Another big, but it was a, it was a big game because these two got, these two teams could see each other in the playing tournament later on. Um, also, this is a big game. It was an interesting game because Washington has been on somewhat of a, a tear this so far this recently, which has got them into the position they're in. I, I believe they're in the ninth spot. Um, when we thought, I, I would say like in March and February before the All-Star break, we were, they, they were looking like the worst team in the league. Um, so it's been a, a, a tremendous, great turnaround over there. And then also, um, it's been a it's been an up and down season for the Indiana Pacers. Uh, they they're having some internal issues with the coaching staff and, and the roster, and um, but they still have been able to pull through and been able to sit up in this get up be where they're at. We, some people thought they would be pretty higher, but the in a position they're in a pretty good position. You guys thoughts on the game? Uh, well, first off, um, I am surprised that the Wizards were the game of the week and the Pacers in their ninth and tenth place. So I usually thought games of the week were ranked a little higher. But I, I mean, can- <laughs> usually that would be the case. But how many times are we going to talk about Brooklyn? How many times are we going to talk about the Bucks? How many times are we going to talk Listen, about the Lakers? We're covering the entire NBA here. We're from covering the, it. From, we're the, covering from the, the top of the top, from the low of the low. Well, we ain't talk, ever talked about 12 through 15. But since we're talking about the 9 and 10 team here, uh, what I'll say is uh, Russell will be Russell. We know that. Congratulations on that triple double. Uh, that is what he'll be known for this season: is breaking the triple or tying the triple double record, which he might break. Did he? Did he tie? He tied it, he tied which it. he'll probably break before the season's over. Which I hope to see him do. He'll do all that, and his team still probably won't make the playoffs. So, who cares? But congrats on the record. That's huge. That's important, especially because Oscar. Was a center. Uh, the Pacers. Oscar, won- Oscar Robertson was in the center. Good guard. Guard. I'm sorry, I misspoke. <laughs> Whatever. Nevertheless, Russell Westbrook. I, I always confuse him with Wilt. That's on me. My bad. Russell will be Russell, but it doesn't equate to wins. Okay. The Wizards are still in ninth place. You know who else is in ninth place? You, you know what? Go ahead. I'm. I'm not gonna let you keep bashing Russ like that, man. You know what? I didn't say one bad thing about Russ. But 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 your, the, you, your, you condes- your condescending on- tone about Russ. Well, that's because of you. So that's let, because let, of me. Okay. Let's right. let's it's start. Kinda, there. It's kind of it's kind of like sub <laughs> subliminal messages. <laughs> that's because of you, not Russell. But go ahead. Russell has been actually putting up pretty good this season. I don't know. I mean, he has, but Russell. Russell's not. But why, but why do you keep saying Russell is Russell when you look at that roster? Outside of Russell and Beal, 
Who can you look for anything from? This is how you wanted to start the podcast yep. today. Okay. Wait, no, no, no. I'm not, he, he asked me a question, so I'm going to respond. When I say Russell will be Russell, what I'm saying is we're not seeing anything out of the ordinary. Russell has always put up triple doubles. In fact, that's what won him the MVP a few years ago. But Russell has not since he's been in the NBA, since the one time OKC went to the finals and lost to Miami, which was partially his fault. Russell has not made any team better. Every team that he has gone to, no matter why, KD's left, we know, Harden left, we know, has blown up. So all I'm saying is Russy will Russ. He'll get you your triple double. So... But if you're looking for him to create you a winning team or a winning culture, Russell Westbrook is not the player to do that. So you telling me Oklahoma City has gotten better since Russ left? I'm no, but okay. what I'm saying, no, no, no you, so you, has, you, you miss what I said. So has Houston gotten better since Russell left? They're okay, the worst okay. team in the NBA, but you're missing what okay. I'm saying. Okay, C did get better when, when Russell no, left. No, they didn't. That's I because disagree. they had Chris Paul, but then they let him but go. The, he left and they got better. So, and they got worse. So, so, so how did it get worse? <laughs> so what I'm saying here, are they fellas, in playoff contention? No. When Chris Paul left. The only reason the Wizards are in playoff contention is because of this god awful play in tournament. No. The Wizards are number nine. Uh-huh. The, they would not be in out playoff of, contention out of, out of without, the last, the, without the in play Okay, term. listen to this. Out of the last 20 games, they have probably won at least like 16 of those. What does that have to do with all season and Russell Westbrook's ability to make a team better? But you also have to remember there was all type of COVID protocols that messed up Wizards start to their season. Have no, you not, have they you not messed, noticed that? They messed up the Lakers season. They have not messed up Russie season. It, yeah, it did. Washington, well, the Washington Wizards are a team that Washington Wizards are a team that made a complete turnaround. They're one of like two teams that made a complete turnaround in the midst in the middle of a season. It was the um, Washington Wizards and Atlanta Hawks, both teams who had were like looking like the worst teams in the league, but they yep. had a turnaround. So when you talk about Russ going to be Russ, which I do agree with that with some stipulation stipulation as far as like him, like Washington got Russell Wilson, oh my Russell Wilson, Russell Westbrook for this for this particular moment, so they can. Turn around so they can he can get these triple doubles. They can add up to win. Going to Kesey Point, they were looking like the worst team in the league, and they had a Ooh. complete turnaround. The Washington Wizards. I, I have never once said or heard either of you say Washington is looking like the worst team in the league. They were looking like a disappointing team because they brought they had Russell. the worst. They had one of the worst records in the league, bro. They did not. They had a, one of the worst starts, yes, but there were teams just as bad. The Pistons haven't been good all season. Cleveland haven't okay, been good so, all season. So, like I said before, they made a turnaround. Going back to Casey Point, they won their last 16 out of their last 20 games, which has put them in a position. They were never in this position. It was like they were at the bottom of the barrel when it came to the East. All I'm saying is Russ will Russ. He's a baller. He is. I mm. mean, I don't agree with that god-awful second greatest point guard ever crap, but he's a baller. But what I'm saying is if it had not been for the play-in tournament, the Wizards would be a lottery team and not even talked about right now. A the, lot, you just said they're in a ninth position, so lottery team is kind of stretching. No, uh, when you don't make the top eight, you're in the lottery. What? You, all those balls go into the thing and it gets shuffled, right? Mm -hmm. Your chances of getting that number one pick might be slim, but everyone gets a chance to, to draft. Okay, you, but when okay you, I see what you're saying. That's go what ahead, I'm saying. Ahead, so ahead, all I'm saying is, let, let, first off, we're talking about Russi, but let's, start, let's not forget about Bradley Bill's 50 points. And he left because he, he was injured, because right? Because he was injured. Bradley Bill putting up numbers, but we're talking about Russ, you know, breaking the record. I, I'm not impressed with the Wizards because Russ does that consistently. And just, then, but that's what that's what you expect from him, right? I do. I, I don't say I, I, I do expect it so from Russ he, now. But, but my thing is, how do people keep saying Russ is letting them down when I, Russ is doing what you expect of him? I didn't say that. I just said but Russ I, that's, well, that's will be I, Russ. I, I hear a lot of that in the media. The thing about Russ, I think the thing about Russ is a lot of people agree with with Stephen A. when he made that point uh, as far as Russ uh, Russell Westbrook making all these, doing all these, getting all these triple doubles. No one cares anymore because you do that if you if you're if you do that on a consecutive basis and you still are in the same position that you were last year as far as like not being uh, not your team not moving forward. We're looking for the next act. 
Like your your first act was you getting triple doubles. What's the next act in your career? I think, and I think a lot of people agree with that. And so when you talk about like you guys were well, like this whole thing, we started this whole thing, but just you know congratulating Rush. And I think that you know Kesey was talking. It's about, a big deal. I want to re- preface. It's a big deal. It Congrats. is. A, it is. A, it's a big deal for about ten seconds, and then after that, we like so. <laughs> So now what? Now to think about it, I will say that the thing about this is it's been a complete turnaround. The toe team has been a complete turnaround. So that's why it's, some, it's something to look at. If they were still losing at the rate they were losing before, then I would say, who cares? But because they're winning and they've, they've made a, a complete turnaround in the middle of a season, then you have to kind of look at your eye. End of a season. You, you, you guys are. But you have to look at it like this. The Washington Wizards started out with a first ten games two and eight. Okay, that's a rough start. I'm, you, I'm talking about before the All Star break. They they had won like eleven, twelve games. But I know I'm saying people looking at at the beginning of the season when they started out two and eight and like, Whoo, Russell ain't doing what he's supposed to do. Yeah, I, I, I even though he was still almost averaging triple double numbers, almost. But it's like when other teams start out <laughs> rough, they don't give them that that hard of a time. It's like. It depends to, on who it depends on who it is. I it, think it, it depends, depends on who, it depends on who it is and who it, you have on your lineup. Exactly. If the Milwaukee Bucks started off two and eleven, we be like, I think as fans we would be like, okay, maybe it's time to. We call. were all over the Bucks. The Bucks didn't start off two and eleven, but they did. The start Bucks off can start great. off fourteen and fourteen, and we like, what is happening here? Because we have MVPs, we have All Stars. So Defensive I expect player of the year. Yeah, defensive player of the year. So I we ex, we have an expectation. So Washington Wizards having Russell, Washington Wizards having Bradley Beal, they have a certain expectation. And plus they got that uh I'm not even gonna try to an- announce his name. The Japanese rookie. They had they had a good pick in the draft. Uh, Talk about some the Wizards? European guy. Yeah, the, the, the Washington Wizards. <laughs> so they had a at least a playoff contention looking team. And some, so some European guy, bro. Some European guy. <laughs> Do y'all know his name? Are you talking? Do you know about, his name? Yes uh, or no? I'll, I'll try to pronounce it. Yes, it's I a yes or no. Idea how to pronounce his name? Thank are, you. Are you talking about? Uh, I said a Japanese guy, the Japanese black guy, and I said a European guy. You're talking about Ruai Hashimura? Hashimura? Hasha what? Hashimura? Okay. Cool. Hachimura? Hashimura. Hashimura? You're talking about that guy. Okay. I, I, I mean, because <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then who's the other guy? Who's the Can't European? Even pronounce it. I'm not gonna try to pronounce. It. I just said that. You talking about uh, Raul Nato? Nito? Sure. <laughs> Let's go there. Well, listen, America. They got me trying to pronounce names, and if you know me, that should never happen. But, so I'm just uh, so I'm just saying, like they had an expectation, and when that when you when you don't meet that expectation, people are gonna say things. But my only problem with what people are expecting from him, outside of Bill, in in Westbrook. No name on that roster is rememberable. Can you actually say Robin Lopez? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna slap you out that shit. I was just acting like Zeke, you know, Nick Van Axel of the Los Angeles Lakers, and or, uh, first of all, uh, <laughs> Mike somebody, Conley. Somebody the say Jazz. Robin Lopez and the Washington <laughs> Wizards. But y'all, but y'all know the names. But y'all know the hey, names. because we watch basketball. But y'all know so the names. His brother played for the Bucks. We wouldn't even know who he was. I mean, the show y'all the know who he was. So, so let me just say this. What I'm saying is. You all are putting a lot of stock into a team that's in ninth place. And when Don't, hold up. You okay, go ahead. I'll let you finish this. And we should be praising the teams like the Knicks, who everybody wrote off, including myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we should be praising teams like the Phoenix Suns, who are in first place, who I called pretenders, and I still stand by, or second place rather. Um, you know, we should be praising teams like the Utah Jazz, who are in first place. But we're sitting here talking about the ninth place Washington Wizards like they matter. If they get in the play-in tournament, they're going to get bounced in the first round. They're going to get bounced in the first round. So let's not waste – listen, what is this? That says 14 minutes. We have to spend 14 minutes defending the Washington Wizards, who will be an afterthought in two weeks when the season's over. Congrats to Russie. He's a baller. Let me finish. Congrats to Bradley Beal. You should demand a trade to go to a better team. But the Washington Wizards, they don't matter. The triple-double matters. He beat the record. He'll probably beat the record this week. He tied it. That is a big deal. But at the end of the day, we want to see Russie be the elite point guard that he is and win championships. So, hold on a second. Hold on. 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 Hold on
Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors will beat the Lakers if they play in the playing in tournament. But what position are they in? They're ninth. Okay. But Steph, what, time out. Whoa. Wait, oh, no, 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 Dre. No, 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 Dre. You went on a whole rant talking no. about Russell Westbrook, no. talking about Bradley Beal. Talking about they're the ninth spot. Why should we be Where's talking the about them? Where's Why the talk, 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 such such? We should be glorifying these other teams. Where's the lie? But then you turn around and talk about Steph Curry like he's a Jesus. Because Steph Curry is playing at an MVP level. As is as is Russie. Russie broke the record, which wasn't hard to do. But Steph was wasn't let's hard not to do. let's not talk about Steph like he wasn't a top five candidate for MVP. Russie hasn't been in MVP discussions all year. So if you want to make this a case of Washington versus Bill, throw out the rest of the outline and we can go there too. Because I got a lot to say about First Steph. We're we not gonna go there. We're not there yet. We because, gonna get there. But when we're they not get there in the yet. playing tournament, everybody better be scared. Yeah, I said it. Everybody better be. We're scared. not there yet. We're gonna get there. The Golden State Warriors. For what? Okay. We not there yet, but we gonna get there. For okay. what? We not there okay. yet, but we gonna okay. get there. For what? Wait, before we go on, do we even want to comment on the Pacers? I mean, the Pacers were the part of the game of the week. The Pacers. Uh, <laughs> I, I talked about the. I talked about the Pacers. Casey, do you have anything about the players you can't pronounce on that team either? Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh. I think that sums it up right there. Uh, but, no, the Indiana Pacers, I talked about the Indiana Pacers. The Indiana Pacers have a good team. and Do like they? Said, they do. They're they in 10th place. They have, Andre, just because these teams are 7 through 10, that don't mean they're not a good team. What does it mean if they're playing? Wait, time out. Time out. Are you serious time right out. now? America. I can't do the birdie back boys, but America. In old NBA, if you were beneath the top eight, no one cared. No one cared. No one cared. Bruh, you know how long we've been Bucks fans and how long they've been so bad? That That's what talking about 9, 10th, 11th, 12th is like. You just call Indiana a good team based on the fact that what? Uh, they have this young gun, um, if, Sabonis, it is, out, who made it to the All-Star game. Wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. Kesey said there's no one memorable <laughs> on Washington. Who's memorable on the Pacers besides Sabonis? So you got some bonus. You got uh, oh, he's memorable. Yeah, he came baller. from Brooklyn. Okay, he was okay. balling when okay. he left I'll Brooklyn. He had a triple. You know, he had he had a double. Malcolm Brogdon. Yeah, who? Malcolm Brogdon used to play for the Bucks. Brogdon, Brogdon, who whatever. has been injured, who has not played to his potential. Back and forth. I wish we would have kept him, but he's not played. Next, Justin Holiday. Five points and one rebounds, real, real memorable from that it's game. Not, it's not about the stats; it's about what you're doing. But court. he just said they're memorable, so we remember. Okay, <laughs> and McDermott is not. It's not horrible either. They're not horrible. points and one assist. Okay. <laughs> but you got to remember, though, like, all of these players are new to that team, too, just like other struggling and just teams. Because like the Los I Angeles Lakers good, struggling. I, I said they're a good team. I didn't say they were the best team. So you so, – so, like, so in hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'll just let team. you on two rants. Okay. So fine. you talking about – you talking about – I just Sips find it my funny. water. I just find it funny that, like, people like you – Dang, it, people, people like, like me. Fans, fans like you. Just say Dre. Can, can I finish? Why I got to get people like me? Can I finish? Dang, that's like you putting, you remember two weeks ago, you put 50% of Americans in the crack category. Hey, Dang, man, check pe- the stats. It's people like me. There. Hey, man, Dang. it's ugly out there. But the point is this. <laughs> the point is this. <laughs> You don't remember that? You remember the crack I made a, I made a, I made a, a half joke talking about 50%. Oh, you were serious. I wasn't serious. Why would I say, he said, I said 50% of Americans on crack. <laughs> Okay. All right. That was on the Michael Jordan episode. I'll give you 44. <laughs> so, close, close enough. Either way, it's high. Or, or, or 45. <laughs> Did that go over your head? 45? I, I, I got it. I got it. Look at this guy. Go but, ahead. Go but ahead. the point I'm making is this. Mm-hmm. The point I'm making is this. When it comes down to talking about teams 7 through 10, and you talk about well, uh, Washington Wizards ain't nothing to talk about. Why are we talking about Washington Wizards? Da, 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 da. But then you turn around and give Steph and the Golden State Warriors all the all the glory, all all the uh uh the accolades, all the all the media coverage. Steph Curry is a great player. He is one of the all time great shooters. But we've already talked on about this podcast. You cannot put Steph Curry by himself on a terrible team and expect him to go anywhere. Because Steph, hold on, Steph Curry is in that current position. And guess what? They're in ninth. The Warriors if, were- hold on a second, Dale, let me finish. And if they if they come against the Los Angeles Lakers. They're in eighth. 
eighth, ninth, they going back and forth. If they go against the Los Angeles Lakers, guess They'll what? Beat them. They will lose. They will beat Listen. them because you have to shut down one person, and that team is horrible. They have had the as they have had the most blowouts this season by twenty or more points, and one of those blowouts was by the Los Angeles Lakers. With and LeBron also playing out without AD though. So what? Without AD. So that lets you know this team is not even at full capacity and they could get blew out by 20 or more. It was by like 30-something points. And it got down to 20 because okay. they put, took okay. their foot off the pedal. Why are you yelling at me, first not, of all? Well, first of all, <laughs> as loud as you talk, I got to yell. I got to yell. So so America, that that's true. I have, a, I have a loud voice. It tends to carry. But the way that he just went after Steph Curry – it's kind of the way he goes after Kesey for LeBron. So now you hate Steph Curry. Too? First of all, I don't, I don't, I don't go after Steph Curry. I don't go after LeBron. All what? I speak is truth. No, you speak a lot. I speak garbage. Uh, only did I not speak truth. I spoke facts. I no, facts you didn't speak facts. You the, spoke no facts. That, that, te- that team get blew out by twenty more than anybody. That's a fact. That's a fact. But that's one. Thing and one of those seasons by Los Angeles Lakers. That. That's also a fact. Anthony Davis what is in it wasn't playing but one of LeBron those games. That's also a fact. Okay. So <laughs> these are facts. But you know what it is about Golden State? Okay. Go ahead. They okay. either either they're gonna okay. either they're gonna blow you out okay. or they get blew out most of their games this okay. season. That's true. That, that, and the only reason they blowing you out energy drink and got you hyped up because you And could, the only reason they yeah, blowing people the out is because Steph is having <laughs> one of those nights. Thank you. So thank you. No, easy, now you easy. said but, enough. But hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Because I got a lot to say on this. Go ahead. If Steph is not having one of those nights, they're losing by 30. So, more so, of a reason to call. But if are you, you are in the playoff tournament and the Lakers decide, say they play in the Lakers, mm-hmm. and the Lakers decide, we are going to shut Steph down. Somebody else is going to have to beat us tonight. Okay. The 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 uh, Golden State Warriors are in, in big trouble because I don't see nobody on that roster that can put up more than 15 points. So, so let so two, please. So let me say this. Thank you. Let me say this, guys. If the Golden State Warriors play a fully healthy Los Angeles Lakers, then we have a problem. But we're talking about the potential of the Warriors playing the Lakers in the play in tournament without LeBron, without AD. Schroeder is out, Schroeder rather, is out 14 games. Uh, so he may or may not be not back. 14 games, 14 days. 14 ge- days, same thing. The and, it's already, be over. and it's already been like 11. It has not been 11. It's You're been hoping. like seven. You're but hoping. by the time playing You're tournament hoping. time comes, he won't even be available. He might be back. Okay, so this is all I'm saying, people. If you all think that the Lakers without their two stars can beat the Warriors, I've never smoked anything in my life, but y'all smoking something real good, Okay. If the Lakers are at high force, they'll easily beat the Warriors. But no, no, no. Back to you and your rant about why we're talking about the Warriors and not the Wizards. Well, first and foremost, Steph Curry has played MVP ball all season. He's been in the top five consideration most of the season. And to Kesey's point, he's done it by himself. At least Russie has Bradley Beal, who's been putting up top scoring numbers. What is the... Look up the top scorers in the league for me. Is him and Steph. Kesey. Him and Steph. Him and Steph. So he's been putting up those numbers. And to Kesey's point, if the MVP is supposed to make the team better, and we see when Russie's out of the game, or when Steve Kerr is hating and sitting him down so he don't break, break Clay Thompson's records, then of course Golden State's going to get ran at because they don't have Clay. And you know we can't depend on Draymond. Mm-hmm. And, and, and clearly KD is gone. All I'm saying, bruh, is that. The disrespect that y'all put on Steph's name, like he's not a killer that can carry a team, is disrespectful. When we but, talk about but, Russy, wait a second. When we talk about No, you Russ- wait a second. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? Shay, you, so think you, you think you're going to go on a Golden State rant like that? So, and ain't nobody going to cut you off? So so that sounds like the, the Bulls conversation we had a couple weeks ago. But listen, when check this out. I don't like what people say that. And check I said, this out. I don't care what you say. The Golden State Warriors has a way better supporting cast than the Washington Wizards do. Oh. Who who does? What? The Golden so, State Warriors. If you look at the Golden State Warriors roster, they have way more players that you could depend on than the Washington Wizards. Name one. Draymond. Occasionally. Oh, no, no, no. He's on crack. So we're going to have Andrew oh, Wiggins. So he's part of that. Andrew Wiggins has had a pretty good season this year. What do you consider really good? 
what do you consider really good? Andrew Wiggins has been let's he take, has let's, been let's mo- take, more let, inconsistent than anybody on that team. Let, let's take out let's take out the really good oh part. Are you depending on let's take out Steph. Let's take out Steph. Are, are you, you depending on are you depending on first of all, let's just put this out here. I see the outline is gonna be all out of whack. <laughs> but who started it? You no. Dre started it. No, I didn't. You went on a whole two minute rant about why should we be talking about the Washington Wizards? Then I had that to shut it down. That was the topic. That wasn't the topic. The top. I was just congratulating them. I was just congratulating uh, Russell Westbrook. You know, let's get back on topic. I was congratulating Russ Russell Westbrook on his uh, triple double, the passing up or tying up Oscar Robinson record. I was also. Saying that the Washington Wizards made a, a good turnaround during the course of the season, and it, we should it be it should be something to be mentioned. And then you went on this whole rant talking about how these why are we talking about the Washington Wizards and they didn't ninth fight and such and well, such well, like that. Well, that. That's what started it. That's what started. Well, that was the topic. You brought it. You're the one that brought in the Warriors. You're the one to talk about such and such, 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 such. So you brought this up. I did. I bring bring the Warriors, but we're going on to the next. Let's, topic. let's move on to the next. But, but, but hold on a second, Christ. since he went so so hard in on Wiggins. Ooh. Wiggins is actually having probably career numbers. He averaging nine, almost 19 points. Those shoot. are not career numbers. Did you see his rookie season? Did you see how he balled out in Minnesota? Okay, be careful what you say because those are he not. Balled out in Minnesota? Yes, he did when he was a rookie. Why do yes, you think they did. got rid of him? They got rid of him because they knew that he wasn't going to resign. So get something for him while you can't. And his rookie season was not in Minnesota. Cleveland, I'm sorry, Cleveland. No, they they it? traded him from. They, they traded, traded him to Minnesota for uh, Kevin, uh Kevin Love. Oh, yes, he was. His rookie season was in Minnesota. His rookie year was in Minnesota, and he balled out his rookie season. The rookie season, he averaged 16 points a game, <laughs> but. For a rookie that's not balling out, didn't he win rookie of the year? No. no. Who won it that year? Who won it? Jabari. That was the same year as Jabari Parker, who did not win it. That was the same year as Joel B, who did not win it. I believe Andrew Wiggins won rookie of the year. If not, tell me who won it. Fuck. I think he's right. Yeah, I know I am. Tell me who won it. I may be wrong, but who won it? I think you're right. Who won it? I don't know. I don't okay. Know so let's forgot. So so know. let's so stack checks, stack checkers. Why don't look you look it up and see? Well, I'm about to. So I'm saying that to say Can you're, you're talking about that Andrew Wiggins. You're saying it like he is that the that he makes the Warriors a much better team when he's a but glorified he, role player. But he's right consistent. Now. 18 points a game. That's consistent. It's not. I want. I wouldn't depend on Andrew Wiggins so to carry the team. If, if you uh, look at his last without Steph Curry there. The Golden State Warriors are trash. His last, let's just say, 10 games. 18, 18, 26, 26, 20, 27, 15, 19, 14. Is that horrible numbers? Those are, <laughs> hold on a second. Those aren't horrible numbers. Those aren't horrible numbers. But let me just let me just And look at this. Up. And then to get it, he's shooting 8 for 13, 7 for 18, 10 a, for 20, can, can 10 for though? 19. Can I ask you something, though? Real talk. This what? is real. This is an honest, honest question. Those games, Steph Curry was going off. So if I have to worry about Steph Curry, you can get your little 15, your 20, such and such, because I'm not worried about you. Because I'm not worried about I'm worried about Steph. He's going off for 50. He's going off for 40. He's literally crossing the half line, half half court mark, half court line, and he's pulling up. So I'm not worried about you. So my question for you is, Keezy, because you brought this up. Are you depending on Andrew Wiggins? As a person who can carry this team if Steph Curry has a bad day. No, because they're clearly I'm in ninth. Casey. Well, I'm, I'm asking... answering for you before he answers because clearly they sucked all year. You're a Steph Curry fan. Can I ask they're a non-Steph place. Curry no, fan? No, no, can I'm gonna say it as, Cur- no. You can ask him when I'm done. Go ahead. Okay. They were in. They were doing terrible without Steph. Okay, the games, they you talk about these blowouts by 30, those were nights when Steph either didn't play or Steph wasn't stepping. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Now you can ask that uh, the other guy the question. Go ahead. Boy, he is an ultimate Steph Curry fan, and he is defending him to the core. Like you do LeBron. But he got a but leg to stand LeBron. on. He got a leg to stand on. Who? Can you see when you talk about LeBron? And, and so have I said anything wrong about Steph? The only thing you said wrong about Steph is that they're going to beat the Lakers in a one the game. Only reason, I said the, the only reason the Lakers healthy. are in the position. That's, the that's the thing about it. You give all these. I'm probably going to get this word the Lakers You are, have all these stipulations of talking about. That's actually the right way. Is it? Okay, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> so 
you giving all these stipulations to well, if they the Lakers got a fully loaded squad, of course they ain't gonna beat the Warriors. Da, 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 da. We at, we talking about but you can take, right? You can take now. Anthony Davis out that lineup and Andre Drummond out that lineup and put LeBron in, and they still will beat the Washington. I mean, still be. I'll give them that. The uh. Go to say Warriors. I'll give you so you would have. So you would I go. agree. So you mean to tell me? Uh, so you mean to tell me? God has got to interfere for the for the to go to say Warrior to beat the Lakers, and you're that you're that excited. You're that for sure about it. Again, because what you're saying is LeBron's got to be out. Anthony Davis has to be out. Uh, uh, Dennis Schroeder has to be out. Uh, uh, uh. Andre Drummond has to have a limp. So all these actions have got to happen. And then Steph Curry's got to go off the 50. And then, then the Golden State Warriors can beat these guys in a one game play in tournament. So that's what you're saying. So America, if you're still with us and you know what, whatever he just tried to say, let me, let, let me sum up what I'm saying. Okay. The Warriors will beat the Lakers in the play in tournament if there's no LeBron in AD. And I'm standing by that. Yes, they'll beat Dennis Schroeder if he's even back and Andre Drummond. Yes, they'll beat them. If the Lakers are at full force with LeBron, and even if it's just LeBron, I don't really, I don't know. I think it'd be a good matchup. But if there's no LeBron, the Warriors will beat the Lakers. All you, I know, you, America doesn't say, money it, but that? the Los Angeles Lakers are in trouble. You want to put some money on that? Let's do it. How much you want to put on there? Whatever you want to put. Let's put two fifty on it right now. Put it. Let's put two fifty. Put it down. Two fifty on who, who you got? Two fifty. Uh, 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 you need to write that down, Keezy. Yeah, two dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> two dollars and fifty cents that the Golden State Warriors will beat the Lakers. This is this if is pr- they're not healthy. Besides right on the dotted line. Besides that, this is fine for- in America. Besides that, this is a uh, this is more this is more about bragging rights of anything. Two dollars and fifty cents. Oh my god, dude! This is this is so petty. That just shows you, America, how much faith he really has in Steph Curry. No, that that no uh that two dollars and fifty cents. And that, I mean, that's I, they're not my team. You know what I'm saying? Steph's a baller. They're not my team. And, and, hey, and you, hey, make, hey, guys! And this man makes eight figures. <laughs> he just bet me two dollars and fifty cents on you, Steph. How pre- bad does he really believe in you, Steph? I appreciate the prophecy. I ain't quite there yet. Uh, um. <laughs> I appreciate the prophecy. All I'm saying again, America, is these guys don't give Steph the respect he deserves. And if anybody out there thinks that the Lakers can beat Steph without LeBron and AD, I would like to, to talk with you on one of our threads on social media because I don't see it happening. Uh, at 94 feet podcast, follow us on Twitter or follow us on Instagram. That's all I'm saying. If you believe that, holla at me. I'm always up for a good sports debate. In fact, shout out to the big homie, Big T, Terrence Slaughter, who debates me every time he listens to an episode. So, you know, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, let's put it on Twitter. I'm going to start tweeting in a few minutes as we're recording. I'm going to tweet the topic that I just asked. Warriors or Lakers. In the first round, in, or in, in the play-in tournament, you can tell us what your stipulations are for that. I'm, 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 I'm taking take, all bets. Can we? Can we move on, guys? That's take, I'm you taking all bets. Brought this up. I didn't. I brought this up. Just like y'all LeBron, been talking just about like this LeBron for twenty started, minutes. Just like LeBron started super teams. This is all your fault. You brought this up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do it, Kesey? Don't you fall for that? You're stronger than that. Don't you fall for that? Don't you fall for that. I'm just talking about a man who had 72 wins and went and got KD. <laughs> couldn't help yourself. LeBron. You couldn't help yourself, could you? You I just mean, couldn't help yourself. You really going to bring that up and after what he did and went and got KD? So, but... But, 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 but Steph can, had... Can, Steph I move, can I move on? on? No, he just called me out. No, no. Wait a second. Wait a second. Steph had won without KD. Okay. He had one without KD. Granted, it was against an injured Cleveland. So let's not make this seem like Golden State recruited him. KD got tired of playing with your other boy, Russi, and he needed help to get his titles, and he went to Golden State. Steph yeah. Curry Steph Curry recruited him. Ooh, I, I didn't mean to say that. I, I didn't want to say move that. On. Steph, he, I, I, yeah, he on. did recruit him. He, I, I didn't want to I didn't want to say that. I didn't want to say that. I'm sorry. I didn't want to Where say they that. go to the Hamptons? Well, they did go to the Hamptons. They, they only did it after LeBron did it first. 
Actually, they didn't go to the Hamptons. They went somewhere else. Well, I'm talking about the super team. They didn't do it until LeBron did. But LeBron first. was in the finals every year, so it doesn't matter. It, it, and it does. It doesn't matter. And guys, he, and he guys. And four of those. In guys. The, in, the fi- in the finals. Guys. He's a goat. Guys. He's, he's the second greatest player ever. He's in the finals every year. He is, except for this year. In the finals every year. Are they going this year? Whether he, he got might. Drew Gooden or he got the Wayne Wade. <laughs> he is in the finals. Steph Curry ain't nah, lacking. I guarantee he's going to win them. Steph Curry not lacking. Can, can we, Steph Curry can, barely making the playoff this year. Well, this year, because there's no clay, he doesn't have his super team on the so side So what about when LeBron James had Drew Gooden? It was oh, in the man, Eastern Conference. That was 10 Conference. years ago. It was I'm in the saying. Eastern Conference, and they, they got dog in the, in the finals against the Spurs. So do you really want to bring up the old Every, memories? Listen, anybody would have got dog by that Spurs team. <laughs> Move us you, Would you really want to have put Steph up against? I've been trying to move us Would you really have want to put your You started this. Your Warriors you started this, right? Happy team. Mother's Day, mothers. All the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. Moving Jesus. on. No, this is your fault. This is not my fault. See? I tried to move on five minutes ago. Y'all kept going back and forth. First, you started him up. Did you start him up? You brought the Warriors. Did you start him up? He knew what he was doing. Exactly. Did you start him up? At the end of the day. Did you start him up? Right. Go answer the question. Go ahead. No, because at the end of the <laughs> day. Because at the end of the yes. day, at the end of the day, what you want when, draws on? <laughs> because as soon as you said it, I told Keesey, I said, Keesey, don't you fall for it. And Keesey just <laughs> sucked right in like his quicksand. He just sucked right in. <laughs> Listen, fam, at the end of the day, when you play the tape back, you're going to say no. you started it. Because you, no. Keesey, admit this, bro. Did he not bring the Warriors into this conversation? I brought him into the conversation. They weren't even on the script. You but brought we him were, in. We, we were but gone. supposed to be. We were quick, done. Uh, quick bring up and move on, but you know, hold on. <laughs> Steph Curry this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Dre just couldn't let it go. America, do you and see? here we are 33 minutes later. America, do you see how they're blaming me for this? Wow. I've been, tra- I've been saying move on for five minutes. You've been saying move on five minutes? Then you going to start him up? Go ahead. How you going to start the motor up and then want to walk away? Well, he shouldn't be so uh, addicted to LeBron. He can have flaws. Like you're addicted to Steph Curry. Steph Curry has flaws. I've, I've talked about his what flaws are they? all season. What are they? Well, number one, if he doesn't have Clay, they're challenged. That's right? not a flaw of him. Okay, well, he's a great shooter that misses occasionally. That misses occasionally? <laughs> you, you know what? Me. You know what? I thought, I thought Keezy had it bad. I thought Keezy had it bad. You got it bad. Keezy has it worse than I do. No, 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 no. Keezy said that LeBron was better than Mike. So that automatically puts him at the top. All right, okay, that's one. Okay, that's one. <laughs> go ahead, let's move on, bro. Let's let's move on. Let's Don't move you... on. Leave Jeez, it let, it go. let it go. Let it go. Let it go. We 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 got. We're done. We're, 50, we're done. 50 here. That is not what I said. <laughs> I never said he was better. Than what me. did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Huh? What did you say? Huh? You asked me who would I take. No, no. He didn't say was should, he better. Should we play the tape? No, d- no. Defensive Keesey, this is what happened. This is the defensive Keesey. Hold on a second. I could have sworn okay. he Let said. Let me say this. Let me say this. This is what happened. Let me say it. No the talk. topic was, is LeBron James a better all-around player than Michael Jordan? And you said yes. Yes, I He do. said yes. I agree with him. And, and then, no. And then, I got the tape. I, I'm always ready. And then the questions we asked, we said, so is LeBron your GOAT? And you said yes. Yeah. You said LeBron is the goat and George's number two. Tape don't lie. He did go say. Back, you go did back say. And he said that. Jordan first. You so what? I said it. What you gonna do? <laughs> because when I was growing up, I wasn't the, the biggest Jordan fan. So you was a Jordan hater? No, not oh, a Jordan God. hater. I was actually more of a Scottie Pippen fan. I was too. Yeah, you're a Jordan hater. I was too. It's Next time no, you hater. wasn't. Ne- I was a huge Scottie Pippen. fan. Yeah, you was a Scottie Pippen fan, but now big, now more than Jordan. Never. I was a more. Okay, I was more of a Scottie Pippen fan than Jordan fan. Oh God, you're. I, I can't it's wait to fifty percent of men. I like, oh, I, like right I like I like the players that do everything. Jordan did everything that no, needed to be did not done. Do everything. That needed to be but like done Pippen, to players win. like Pippen and and LeBron are in that same category where their their stats are stuffed all the way across the board. You so, know what I mean? I get that. So whose fault is this one? To di- is this one on me or you? This on me. Okay. This on me. This on me. Next topic, please. Okay. okay. Move move next on. topic. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, you guys are something. What a Mother's Day special. I know, right? So I was speaking. While we, 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 in the midst of that, in the midst of that Steph Curry, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Pippen. Pippen, Washington Wizards rant, we didn't even talk about the injuries. A nice little segment we like this, we're going to, we started doing is uh, talking about the injuries, the injury report, um, talking about the injuries and how it's affecting the team. Obviously, the number one injury is LeBron James, how he kind of re, 
re-aggravated that high ankle sprain he missed like last week. He played one game, then missed the rest of the week. Mm. Um, and they're saying that he could be out another what? Three to four games? No, he, as he, he should be coming back next week. This week this week coming up, he should be coming back. Well, they need him. Uh, Anthony Davis injured himself in a game, but he came back the next game. He re, he, According to the reports I got, or the, the ones I read, it was his ankle, then it was also back soreness, but no yeah. time was missed. He came back the next game they yeah, played. I, I saw that injury. And he actually had more game. than like 20 points that next he game. He stepped on the um, announcer table, wasn't like, Yeah, the announcer, announcer table, table yeah. something like that. He rolled yeah. his ankle. I was like, wow. He looked clumsy. Yeah. And I won't say clumsy. Say clumsy. He was like a hustle play. Yeah, he was, it was like, a hustle play. So, but he came back the next game and he seemed fine. They had to help him out the rest of the game. Uh, Zion Williamson. Williams, Zion Williamson injured his left uh, index finger, and he's out indefinitely. Uh, shut him down. They shut him. Their season is done. Their season is done. It's been done. Um, but, but, um, like, uh, so the the GM, which is the former GM of the um, Cleveland Cavaliers, I think his name, last name is Griffin. I don't know his first name. Mm-hmm. He blamed the refs. He got a, like a thirty-five thousand dollars fine. I saw that they went at him. Um, and then also another big injury is Donovan Mitchell. They pushed his recovery back um, to another week, so he should be coming back next week too. Um, I'm starting to think these injuries are excuses to keep players out until this time for playoffs. I do think Utah is uh, walking a real fine line because if you put if you keep a guy back until you get to the tournament or until you get to the playoffs, you are bringing him back for rust. So I think he should come back this week and play at least two games, limit the minutes or whatever. So maybe um, like 20, 30 minutes or something like not even I'm sorry, 15, 20 minutes, and then he should come, he should gradually come back into the tournament because they do have though. They'll either finish the seat at the number one seat or they'll finish at the number two seat. So, you know, I, I, I kind of agree with you, Keezy. Like, like some of these injuries, I think they're just kind of holding people back. I mean, the unfortunate for the Lakers, like they have to play James. They have to play Anthony Davis, whether they're at 100 percent or not, because 80 uh, percent LeBron James is better than a no percent LeBron James. And Anthony Davis, I feel like he can't carry this team by himself. So, you know, with that being said, I agree with you. Like some teams, if you're in a higher position, like that one that one through five or even that one through six depends on a conference, that you have to – that you can kind of rush your play, rest your players in going into the playoffs because Utah is going to have a hard road a hard road because I don't think a lot of people believe in them. And same thing with Phoenix. Like if you can you – know, lucky for them they've had no injuries, but if you can push these guys back or hold them back into the tournament, I, I, would, I don't see a problem with it. Yeah, and I think we also missed a big one. James Harden's still out. J- James Harden's out indefinitely. I didn't speak about James Harden because he's – I think they're keeping him until the playoffs. He's still – they. last we heard about James Harden, he said he felt like he's going to play uh, before the playoffs. I think he wants to get out there. Mm. But um, they're still talking about that hamstring. Yeah. I don't – with James Harden, I feel like See, that's a tricky Brooklyn game. needs him. To they, go to go deep, they need any him. team out of all the teams. I think Brooklyn needs him more than anybody. Any other team needs their player that's I, out I, I, because more than the Lakers. I mean, we know what the Lakers is, right? Yeah, but I'm just saying, like out east, I don't see them getting out the east without him. To be honest with you, I was happy to see it, but when I seen Brooklyn lose back to back games to the Bucks, I knew. They needed James Harden. Yeah. And then they lost another game. They lost like three in a row. They actually lost four in a row. Four in a row. I, they lost four four in a row. And they, I'm like, y'all need James Harden. And at the beginning of the season, that was one of the things where we were looking like, well, that was the beginning of the season. But when the trade happened, we were looking like, uh, who is the most valuable player out of the three? And I, at first I thought it was KD, but I'm starting to think it's James Harden. Because even with KD scoring 30 and 40 and 50 points a game, even though that's great for chemistry, and that's also great for him because he can kind of, you know, get that rust off because he's in there so but long. KD, but still, KD, KD can, put him 50 points. You KD still lose. You can go to any team that in the league right now and put up 30, 40, or 50. Yeah, that's true. But the problem is he's in that same category like Russie. They don't make their teams that much better by themselves. Mm, that's uh, – 
I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a give you that. I'm gonna give you so, that because so, you do think I'm gonna give you even that. when he left Rusty to go to Golden State, they were already good. He That's just, why I'm gonna he give just it to you. fit yeah. right in. He's that type of player that can go fit in on any roster. So, so this is what I'm gonna say. All those injuries are impactful, and I do agree with you, Zeke. If I'm the owners or the GMs, let them sit. Utah's in the first seat, and they'll stay in the first seat. They might fall to the second seat. They get home court advantage, so let them stay. Utah. Utah. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I, I think the biggest threat really is the Lakers. The Lakers need LeBron and AD back at 100% because the Lakers have a tough schedule coming up. They cannot afford to lose any more games. And if I'm the Lakers, I'm trying to really fight for six to avoid the play-in tournament. But the only way that can happen is for them to literally win every game. So my question left. for you is this. My question for you is this, Dre, because I do agree everything you just said. But well, LeBron James pretty much saying, I won't be 100% for the rest of the season. The rest of his career, he said. Well, he's, he, I think he's over-exaggerating. We, we, we're going to get to LeBron James and his crying ways in a minute. What do you think? Uh, you got nothing to say about that? Oh, okay. You just show me the glizzy? You finna pull, what the? <laughs> you pull out a, that's where we at? <laughs> my God. Go These ahead. fans. Go um, so when I'm, when I'm, my question for you is, like LeBron James is not going to be 100 percent for the rest of the season. Do would you want him at 80 percent? Because the the Lakers are looking at the playing tournament. Do you want him at 80 percent, or do you sacrifice and hold him off for that playing tournament? Because Anthony Davis is at like 90. I think I don't want to put him at 100, but he's at like 90, 95 because he had like 30 points against that. Who's that? I'm, I'm I can't think of the team that they had like 35 against, but they still lost. Uh, are you talking about? Um, it was either the Raptors or the or the Clippers. The Clippers. It was the Clippers. Okay. No, it was the Raptors. Okay. It was the Raptors because okay. the okay. they got blue out versus the Clippers. So, so, so let me. So ask my. You. So that's my. Go, go ahead. I want to answer your question. I want LeBron back now to avoid the play-in tournament because he can get a little rest. <laughs> he can get a little rest if he can avoid that play-in tournament. Because remember, the play-in tournament leads right to the playoffs. So that's what I'm saying. There's like, no do, rest there. Yeah. So what I'm asking you is that's what that's my point though. Because think about if it. you do, if you if you play LeBron James now, there's a chance he can hurt and reactivate that ankle. Well, but, but if you wait, he's uh, he's at like ninety percent going into the playoffs. The Lakers but coming you, up. A risk. The Lakers have the Suns. They're gonna lose. They have the Knicks. They might lose. They have the Rockets. They should win. They have the Pacers. They should That's win. That's up in the air. That's up in and the air. They should win, and they have the Pelicans. So, so they should go three and two. They should go three and two. At least. At least if LeBron is playing. If LeBron is not playing, they might go zero and five. Well, they are two and eight. They might go zero. So and that five. goes to my. That's why I asked you that question. Like, do you do you play him now? He's not at. He's like you play he's him like, now. You play. You so play him he, limited. So what if he gets hurt? You know, I hate injuries for players, but that's a risk that you take in in basketball. This is all I'm saying. Let me rephrase the question for the panel here: is 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 it more important for them to get the six seed, or more important for them to get in the play in tournament just to have a spot? Because if, if I'm a Laker fan, I want the six seed and let LeBron rest all next week. Here's my thing: if let's say let's say the Lakers lose all five of those games, that'll probably push them to the ninth seed. Mm-hmm. If I can get a hundred percent LeBron James, I'll take that because, like I spoke about last week, a hundred a hundred percent LeBron James into the playoffs is very dangerous. And LeBron James can turn it on at a, just like that. And once he turns it on, he gets into that. He gets into a mold that is damn near unstoppable. So, so my thing is, so my thing is, I I would risk him going losing those games to go into the uh, uh, playing tournament. Kesey, you're the uh, the LeBron James fan here. What do you, what do you what do you think? Me, honestly. It doesn't really matter if they if they're the sixth seed or the eighth seed or the ninth seed or the tenth seed. So you as long as I get playoff LeBron. So what you're saying is you you sitting them. I would. Okay. Until playing tournament. Yep. Mm. Because 
even if you play in a playing tournament with LeBron, that's only what? That's one game. But that's just getting his legs up under him. Well, two games. For the playoffs. It's probably two games. But two games, he'll play in the playing tournament is to get his legs up under him, getting ready for the playoffs. Mm-hmm. You know, what was interesting is they played a clip. They asked LeBron a question. And We're going to get to um, let me, I'm I, oh, oh, yeah, is that on there? I was going to say that next. Okay, well, I, what I was going to say is he had to eat his words. Because, yeah. I want to say eat his words. I think. I think um I think that well let's well, let's he, go to the quote. The, yeah, so the quote is this words. LeBron James they asked LeBron James about the playing tournament and Are you his, quoting this year's? What do you mean? Are you about to so Oh last year's I don't think it counted, but What? I, that oh count. no. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll I'll do this though. I'll do this. I'll let you find the quote from last year. Oh, we got to. Because and I'll, that's why I'll it's quote, controversial. I'll quote it for this year. This year uh, LeBron James, when they asked him about the playing tournament, it was whoever came up with the idea should be fired. Now, I find this very convenient for LeBron James to say, especially when he has to play in the playing tournament. When he was in first, when he was in second, when he was in third, I don't think he cared. But because he has to play in the playing tournament, he's like, oh, man, this is stupid, man. Well, I got to do this and such and such and such and such. It, it sounds like to me. He's like, human. He's what? He's human. Is he? Because it's not like he could. Because that sounds like something you would say. So wait that's a not so. That's not something I would say. Wait Hold a on second. a second before you even go there. No, he's I not the you. only guy. He's not the you. only guy. Oh, to I know do your this kind. <laughs> what's my oh, kind? I know your kind. What's my so, what's my kind? So while they argue over that in 2020, LeBron said that was just a year ago. Why are you saying like that? Go ahead. Because this is why people are all over LeBron right now. He's like a politician right now, where he's flip flopping. In 2020, he said. You got Portland, you got Memphis, New Orleans, and Sacramento tinkering around there. So if there's five or ten games left, why not let those guys battle it out in the tournament? Make them play all other five games. And so then this year he says, whoever came up with this needs to be fired. But that's because they were going into it in the bubble. It was a different scenario when they initiated (laughs) the play-in tournament last year. Okay. Because, and it was a lot of a COVID protocol that went into that. They're still COVID, and they protocol. wanted people. They wanted teams to actually play and play hard to finish out the season, okay. and not just give up because That's of fair. COVID. That's fair. I'll give you that. That's fair. That's fair. That's, That's a fair. totally different so, situation okay, compared okay. to this year. Okay, so everything should have went back to normal this year. So let me ask you this question. Then let me ask you this question because that that is a fair. That's a fair answer. That I. That's a fair answer to his thing. What he just said, but. Now that LeBron James is in a tournament, he think it's stupid. Do you but think- you would think it's stupid too if you were in it right now, and you just going played, back to your you point. Just played a, a full season without any breaks. So, so, going back so look- to hold on a second. Going back to your point. Same thing with Dallas Mavericks when they were like in seven C. He was like, uh, "What? A, who, who said this? Uh, Luka, uh, didn't he? Not Luca, the owner, Mark Cuban. Mark Cuban yeah. He said it was stupid. I was like, yeah. "You just saying that because you in the playing tournament? I just feel like these teams who have a high expectation with a chance of losing." Now they have a chance of just getting booted out, or now they have a they have to play an extra game. Now they crying and, about it, and that's why I said from the beginning that I did not like to play in tournament because folks that have been like the Lakers, and I get it, is basketball. The Lakers are a victim of injuries. The Lakers were hanging on to the top three spot all year until AD went down, then LeBron went down, and then the shooter went down. So they're a victim, unfortunately, of the injury bug. I agree with LeBron, but it's his words are coming back to haunt him because last year he was for it and this year he's not, which I don't blame him. I, I think that the play in tournament is a terrible idea. It was perfect for the bubble. I get I say I agree. It was perfect for the bubble with teams have been sitting out. Mm-hmm. And you don't want people to just come in the bubble and just be like there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want them to come in and have something to work for. Something because they thinking, okay, I still got a chance. Yeah. Because I'm in the play in tournament. Yeah. But when you come into a full season, it defeats the whole purpose of a full season, don't it? Well, not only that, too, to your I don't, point, they took, what, three months off last year before they started playing again? That's true. Because no one knew what the pandemic was going to happen, which ended up putting them in the bubble. Yeah, we so, still in this penny snatcher. You know? So, I think that... Um, <laughs> oh, man. Really? <laughs> what? We still in the penny snatcher. You like that one? Everybody been saying this okay. pee. Go ahead. I don't get it. Anyways, yeah. the, it went above your head. But the point I'm, I, I think that 
I always like to play in tournament. I like to play in tournament just because you do have something to play for. Now, teams that are out of playoff contention, I don't really care for it. But it's still one of those things where, like, even but remember, though, before you say that, team nine and tenth would be not be in playoff contention if it wasn't for the tournament. That's true, but like teams like, for example, let's say uh, the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns finished the bubble eight and zero. And people thought, yeah. man, this team would be great to see in the playoffs, and they still didn't make it because of records and mm-hmm. other stuff that happened earlier in the season yep. before the pan- before the panorama. So it's one of those things. It's one <laughs> the pan the pandemic, man. the pandemic. So what I'm saying is, um, so what I'm saying is. <laughs> Oh my god! So what I'm saying <laughs> is that it's that I think off. that um I, I like to play in tournament. I like it. I think that it makes teams work harder. Uh, I think it take it takes uh, away from like if you don't make this eighth seed, then you're just done, and then all of a sudden you start throwing your season, and yeah, you could have had a chance to make it, but you just threw your season. Yeah, Thank you. teams like Memphis or uh, San Antonio, they probably be in re- rebuilding mode because they was like, what are we playing for? But instead, they're like, hey, this is an opportunity for us young guys to get that playoff experience in and to, you know, kind of work hard towards something, have a goal. Um, so I like it. But I think LeBron was just crying, to be honest with you. I think he was crying. I think they could. They, when they asked, this, when they asked this question, he was just – it was right after a loss. So did, I think he was just crying. Did anybody Benton. see the actual interview when he said it, though? Yeah. Yeah, I saw all the clips. That's all they've been sound by you. They asked him a question. What do you think about the play-in tournament? Well, what did he say? How did he say? I haven't saw the clip yet. He so said, I, I think the, the person that came up with it should be fired. Was it a sarcastically saying? No. It or was, was it like? It was, it was, it was, it was, it was half sarc, sarc, sarcastic, obviously, because he can't get him fired. But it was one of those things where, like, why would you say it? Right. Because, like, LeBron right. James has, he has this um, career where everything he does say is, um, scrutinized, scrutinized, and analyzed, and like we we dig deep into it. No matter what he says, he can. I mean, tweet. he's come up on every podcast. He's t- once he tweets something, it goes crazy just because it's LeBron James. Yep. I, I think we we just caught him at a moment where he didn't. He had something to say about the playing tournament because he's in it. They just lost the game. He was kind of mad about the loss. It was one of those games that they should have won, and so he was kind of upset about it. I, right. I, I, I'm not mad. I get it. He's human, but it's just one of those things. Like LeBron, you crying. Well, plus, if it wasn't this year, if they were in seventh place, they could still be in the playoffs without worry. Now, because, again, because they've suffered injuries, now the Lakers might be looking at an early exit from the playoffs or the play-in tournament. I mean, yeah. it has yet to be seen, but. I know. mean, we'll we'll see. Yeah. Um, but with that being said, talking about the play-in tournament, um, who do you, well, obviously, Dre think it's the Warriors, but. Who do you think is probably the most dangerous team headed into the playing tournament? Let me just say this: we have in the, right now, as of today, the seventh seed is the Lakers, the eighth seed is the Golden State Warriors, the ninth seed is the Memphis Grizzlies, and the tenth seed is the San Antonio Spurs. In the East, we got the Boston Celtics in the seventh, Charlotte Hornets in the eighth, the Washington Wizards in the ninth, and the Indiana Pacers in the tenth. So out of those uh, eight teams, who do you think is probably the most dangerous team? If they're healthy, the Los Angeles Lakers. I don't want to hit this. Here's the thing. Because when you say if they're healthy. You have to, though. But they're well, not. I already know where the Lakers are if they're healthy. They're, they're, they're dominant. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm so going, they're not healthy, though. That's, that's my thing. Right now, going to the playoff tournament today. The, the, the Golden State Warriors are the most dangerous team out of the eight you just named. You've been you've been proclaiming it all day. Well, we'll see you in a couple of weeks, won't we? Keys, who you got? I'm going to go with the Washington Wizards. Mm. Okay. The Washington Wizards are really finishing out their season very strong. I mean, they're pretty had, dangerous. I mean, they started out rough. They they're picked, in ninth place, pretty dangerous. But go ahead. They started out rough because it was coming to a new season together, mm-hmm. fresh team, all the COVID protocols, you know. In the breaks they had, they had like a three week break, didn't they? Because of the COVID protocol, didn't they? They didn't have not the break, whole team, but, but 
uh, majority of the team, they was at a point where they only had like five players. <laughs> yeah, they were. They, it was a point of time. It was yeah. like six, but yeah, I get what you're saying. You get what I'm saying? I do. Like, I do. That's a rough stretch. It and is. Then it is. You bring back your your all of your players, and you got to try to gel them back together again. Mm-hmm. Well, and, I, I, and that and that's when they started losing when the players started coming back. But then once they found their rhythm. Then they went on what a uh, eight game winning streak. Eight game winning streak. Then they 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 were losing very far in between. Um, they wasn't I, losing games like they were at first. Exactly. And then the the Russell Westbrook trade and pickup helped them out tremendously because I think if they'd have kept John Wall, they'd have been in a worse. They'd have been in the same position how they started the season off. All season. All see pretty much because another subject for another day. John Wall is washed. Um, yeah. but yeah. it's one of those things where like the reason they picked up Russell is because he has long jeopardy and because he makes, I don't want to say make the team even better, but he gets involved the whole team. And so they, they put these young guys around him who can shoot the ball, who can, who can score from three levels. And now it's paying off. And I think that's, that's, a, and I think that's good. And it I is think, good. I think people should give Russie a little more credit for what he do instead of, Bashing his triple doubles. I didn't bash him. I congratulated him. I didn't say you did. I. But you looked at me. You must be feeling guilty. We in the same room. Who else am I gonna look at? You, you look across <laughs> to the person you're talking to who asked you the question. I'm talking to us. We... So, so I'm, I'll, I'll say this. <laughs> no, uh, you, assuming that. Y'all. <laughs> assuming that the. Are you done? Did I say I was done? Assuming that the play in turn, man, I'm gonna take it as a yes. Assuming as the play. <laughs> Assuming that the play in tournament is going to pick a seventh and eighth seed, is that the plan? So the play in tournament is the seventh versus the eighth, the nine versus the ten, the winner of the, of the seventh and eighth. Each other for seven eighth. Yeah. Okay, but two teams are going to make it from each conference. Yeah. So I'm going to pick the Wizards and the Celtics to make it out of the Eastern Conference into the play in tournament to finally get into the playoffs. Out of the East. Yep. And then I'm going to well, if the Lakers play the Warriors, they both can't make it. So I'm going to go with the Warriors, and I'm going to go with the Spurs. I'm going to go with the Spurs. Now, if the Lakers are healthy, obviously I will change my tune. But if there is no LeBron playing in this playing tournament, the Lakers might not make the playoffs. And okay. I know you don't want to hear real that. Real quick, real but quick. The truth self set thee free. Okay, hold on, hold on a second, real quick. Hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second, real quick, real quick. Playing tournament. This is. Try, this, I know, but this is how this is going to go. <laughs> playing tournament. Why this is how it's going to go. So we have uh seven and eighth play each other, and then we have the ninth and the tenth play each other. And so, um Go ahead. Ninth and tenth. <laughs> ninth and tenth gonna play. So the winner of the nine and ten play the loser of the seven and the eighth. And then one gets the seventh seed, one gets the eighth seed. Okay. Which is weird. Well, it's kind of like the playoffs. It's kind, of, it's kind of like that, but it's, it's just like one game. Yeah. Um, and so, it's your picking. You pick. You pick the Celtics. I pick the Celtics. Uh huh. And the Wizards, if the numbers match, if the numbers go correctly, those are the two that I believe that um, those are the two that I believe that can get it done in the East. And then in the West, the Lakers and Warriors, if they play each other, they're going to cancel each other out. They both can't go. Right? They both can't go. So I'm going to go with the Warriors, and I'm going to go with the Spurs. Hmm. That's if I have my analogy. Really if I don't play? have my analogy down, Pack America, forgive me. But as it stands today, as of Mother's Day, the Lakers and the Warriors would play each other, which means they would cancel each other out but my from the play-in is, tournament. But my only problem with what you just said is you said you would pick the Warriors over the Lakers. The so Lakers outside, so even if Clay had, I mean, even if Steph has fifty, who else on that roster is going to score that other fifty points? I mean, let's not act like the Warriors don't put up double-figure points. Like they do score over a hundred points at times. And it's not like Steph's putting up 70 and 80. Yeah, he had a couple, you know, 40 and 50 point games. But to your point, you make the case that Wiggins was helpful. So then let's make the case that Wiggins is helpful again. You make the case. So that- are you going to take So what my thing is, do you think Wiggins is going to put on a better performance than the Lakers supporting cast? Because we know Steph is going to do what Steph is going to do. Okay. We know that, right? 
Listen, I'm not going to take your bait because I'm packing up to walk out. This is what I'm going to say, America. No LeBron, no AD, no Lakers success in the play-in tournament, no Lakers success in the playoffs, and a potential missed playoffs if neither of those players are playing. And that's all I got to say. And that's all he got to say, people. Wow. So, uh, real quick. Look, man. For Mother's Day, for Mother's Day, for this mother, for this, for this Mother's Day special, we've been wilding all the all episodes. Okay. So I, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just I, here I for the ride. I appreciate it. I enjoy episodes. I'm like just, this. I'm just here for the ride. I'm just here for the ride. But you started this whole thing. I didn't start nothing. You I'm came in on, 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 on a billion. I didn't. Oh, you did. Oh, I did. oh yeah, you came oh, in. Oh, you came in on a all billion. the way up. Okay, thank God we don't have behind the scenes cameras because oh man. Phew. They almost seen me put my hands on you. Oh man, and, and then they almost seen me do the American History X stump on you, the way you was acting. The American History stump on me. Yeah, that's how you was acting. You ain't never heard of that before. <laughs> I, I know exactly what it is. That's why I'm shocked you said it. Yeah, well, that's how you act, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> this is the 94 Feet Podcast, and uh, I think we're out. We're done. <laughs> Check we're us done. out on Spreakers, Google, iHeart, Apple, Spotify. Like us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at 94FT Podcast. Like, subscribe, share. Agree with us? Probably not. 94 feet. 94 feet, good people. Thank y'all. I love you, Mama.